Hey guys, this is 89 Gamer Guy here. Um, if people are seeing my videos like the uh, unboxing of Black Ops 2, I know it came out a little late. Um, it is going to, uh, it may continue to be that way with me. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and do this despite people's warnings about it and honestly I love zombies but I have to say Treyarch some of this may could have been better uh maybe have a bigger bus area on the survival mode or something that may have helped it but other than that, it is a very good game. Uh, you can go ahead and congratulate yourself with creating this masterpiece and revitalizing a wonderful game or game piece already in uh, gaming history. I know Nazi zombies or zombies will always be a very important part of my youth because I've been playing this for two years straight probably or three years yeah three um black ops kind of introduced me to it and honestly well done with black ops you guys are amazing at creating new game styles i have to say i love the whole theme of this game i love the way that you can build things onto the bus to make it better and I would just like to say congratulations on this huge success of a game mode that um, you have created. I love the bus driver. Uh, he is... He is hilarious. Anybody who would like to try this, shank him and he'll yell at you. It is the funniest thing. He'll say stuff like, authorities have been alerted to your disruptive actions. What authorities are still alive? Like, CIA and stuff? And even if they were alive, why would they care about what an automatic bus driver would do to you? It's like, yeah. I mean, I mean I'm shanking this bus driver here. And you see, he just tried to kick me off. Which is a major screw up there. I don't really get it. And and he cusses at you. He'll he'll tell he'll call you an asshole. He'll say door privileges have been effing revoked. Treyarch, I found this or Treyarch developers, I found this extremely hilarious. First time I saw the video by um well, I can't remember it right now. But the video name was, This Is How You Troll a Bus Driver. And the video itself was so comical, I couldn't take it. It was hilarious to watch. Uh, I kind of showed my parents, and the first time my dad heard this, he just kind of smiled a bit. He's never been a huge Zombies fan. I guess it's because he's just had, he hadn't had that many warm moments with it as I have. But, uh, uh, either way, we do have fun with Black Ops. We will play, basically, Domination pretty much all day. Or, pretty much every time we can. You can also build new things onto this bus. Uh, you can build escape routes, such as this. There's a gun right up there, which you can grab. I love getting on top of this bus, because... All the zombies will just climb up here and try and get you, but there's no guarantee, you know? And like, you, you got the little front thing there. I mean, everything about this game is genius. Um, there, there's nothing that you can really say bad against zombies, really. It's been a major part of people. Uh, most gamers, whenever they would first hear about this, they were kind of excited about the whole concept. But this was a whole new thing, you know? Being able to ride around in a bus and everything. Whoa. 
And another thing, you just saw me fall off the bus. Listen, if you fall off the bus, if you fall off the bus, be sure that you know exactly what you're doing. So, I mean, if you, if you have no idea what you're doing there, you're screwed. Uh, I'm not sure if he just kicked me off because he knew that I was up there. And he just wanted to get back at me and, you know, tick me off or whatever. But, either way, this game is awesome. Uh, and, of course, I got the uh, Nuketown 2025 bonus map with it. Which was a major, uh, which was a major, you know, thing for me since Nuketown was amazing. And I will be making a video pretty soon on Nuketown. Uh, gameplay on it. Because, honestly, Nuketown is really awesome. And there's no reason why it should not be on the internet. As far as, uh, you know, people having it on there. Just like for people to see. You can also build shields on this, which is a nice option. Uh, there's not anything in here, so... I'm not really going to waste my time back there. I'm just going to get back in the bus. But the main point of this video is just explaining how great uh, you guys have done on developing this game. Um, from all us Call of Duty fans out there, we thank you for this wonderful piece of game. And uh, we hope to have probably another sequel to this game in the near future or at least another zombie mode you know maybe a remake cause probably Nocturne Totem would be good uh, we noticed that you had put that in there as one of your secret maps nice job uh, as a proof that you can do that I'm gonna do it right now I'm gonna do that right now And here we go. I'm going to show you guys Nocturne Totem. Okay, here's Nocturne Totem. What you do is you just run down the field right here. You just beware these face crawlers will get on you and eat you alive. But that's not the point. The point is you have good old Nocturne Totem right here. 